All right, uh, so in this video, we're going to start solving for the example that we showed during the last video. All right, so for our bulk connection, when we're looking at an overall analysis of the strength of a connection uh, and a tensile member, we should always consider the two factors or the two general regions in our analysis. So the main one is the member. So if we look back at the example, we have a member here, so this member could be an I-beam, could be another section, but in our case it's an actual plate of 200 by 25. So we should look at the member itself that's placed under tension, and then we should look at the connection which holds the two members together. Now the connections in uh, this example is the bolts um, uh, and the splice plates at the top and bottom. Uh, for welding, the connections can be changed to something like a weld. A fillet weld and yeah so for this example we're going to be looking at it in this manner uh, that we're going to be looking at them in sort in terms of its main plate as well as its connections of bolt and splice plate so firstly we can look at the failure modes of the main plate so when we're looking at this example all we're trying to determine is to find all the failure modes find the capacity of each failure mode and find which uh, failure mode has the lowest capacity and then we can find out uh, the capacity of our whole connection. Alright so we're going to start by looking at the main plate and the failure modes. Now the main plate has three failure modes when we're looking at it under tension. Um, usually there is yield and fracture of the plate and in this example there's also ply bearing. Now just be careful with ply bearing because usually it doesn't exist for uh, simple questions but in our case uh, because we're dealing with a plate that has a bolt that is very close to